All right, it's 6 a.m. I'm, I'm, I'm coming into the gym. Looks like somebody got hurt. <laughs> One of these old people probably uh, had chest pains first thing in the morning at the gym. Too many Viagra or something. It says, how many boogers does Carissa fit over half her left nostril? And they want to know whether it's a statistical question or not. Well, what's a statistic? Wait, who well, leaves boogers in your nostril? Aren't you supposed to pick them immediately? No, no, no. Gross. <laughs> uh, I thought you were supposed to put them on your leg. No, that's horrible. I can't believe we do that. You All right, John, so what does statistical mean? So, so, so a statistic is a set data that can be changed. Okay, so read this question. So, they want to know how many boogers Carissa the ogre has in the Oh, well, this left can't be changed. Does it really Unless say that? It. I, mean, I mean, the, the ogre, it could have a cold. There could be a lot of extra boogers. It's or not really... Or they can pick their nose or something. Are you serious? Is this about boogers? <laughs> yes, um, it's, it's, it is. It's not really directly... You can go over here. here. It's about boogers. <laughs> so I think it's not a statistical question. This is inappropriate. <laughs> yes, it is. It's not an appropriate question. All right, hit the button. So I think it's not statistical because... I think you're going to get it wrong. Go okay. ahead, let's see. It's directly in proportion. Oh, that's right. Okay. But, Boy, John, you really know a lot about bookers and statistics. What? <laughs> Six goes yeah. there. And two goes there. Because it's yeah, right. And one, two, helps. three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. no. Uh, and seven goes there, and then and there. nine goes up there, and that's we're done. Yep, done. Thanks, Jordan. No problem. <sighs> so what are you doing, John? Well, right now I'm creating a video, and with what? Well, I'm exploding the city. It looks. Is this a romantic scene? No, this is the one where... Alright, tell me when you're going to start from the beginning. Alright, start from the beginning. So, so you got like the... En the oh, it's energy. like a laser that's... Yeah. Okay. And so what program are you using here? Adobe After Effects. Adobe After Effects. Alright, explosions. And how do you make it? What, what, are the, what are some of the things that you have to... That you're tweaking here? Well, basically to start, I just... If you go into here, I just took this Hold picture. On. Okay. Of a city. Okay. And took a picture of a city. I had all these explosion effect. I had some debris. I had some the laser, and I had the explosions. Can you change colors and stuff? Uh, if I wanted to, um, like say I wanted to change this energy. So then I can go over here and make this like green really more of a cyan so i'd have to like turn the blue down okay so it's gonna look different yeah whoa all right so, so now it's sort of like a cyan. it's like turquoise you changed that yeah all right thanks john let's go for another bike ride and show you some of these beautiful homes here in uh, north naples it's called the uh it's the pine ridge section this is the uh, condo development right next to us I mean, Emerald Woods, it's, uh, you know, they're $200,000 condos, maybe three hundred in bull years. But this is the first place we came to um, in 2009. And I rented a place there for $2,300 for the month of January. And, um, I mean, this is what kick-started my, uh, my whole lifestyle design, uh, you know, adventure. And actually, in this development was where my daughter had a drowning incident. And uh, her brother basically alerted me that she was drowning and basically saved her life. That was back seven years ago now. We got the new construction going up too because, you know, everybody needs a house that big. I mean, really, what are they gonna put in it? This is a better angle to look at it. I mean, look how deep it is. Looks like we have another uh, giant spec home here, just in time for the, uh, the market crash. Huge. This one right next to it doesn't look like it's that old. Looks pretty new too. 
palatial. What do we have here? Try not to fall and break my phone. I mean, they all look the same, don't they? <laughs> what tree are we on? Myrtle or something? Wow. How could you fill that space? It's filled up with staff. This one's going to be tiny. Look. Not sold yet. Spec house. Pure spec house. It's getting hot out here. I'm probably going to try to zip back and uh, get to the beach. Here, hold on. Here's another one. They're a dime a dozen. They got the fountain out front. Eh, tiny little house. Let's see. This one here looks like it's got a for sale sign out. Doesn't look new though. Eh. Actually, I think it is new. Uh, tiny trees though, look at those trees. Another spec house. Doesn't look like a house, but it's gotta be. Oh yeah. Mick Mansion. All all house, no lot. What are you doing, spying? <laughs> I got drones for that. This one's for sale. This one's for spec. How much house do we need? How much? How many new houses do do the rich people need? We have a, then we have another one here. I mean, hopefully it's sold. It's really infinite land in Florida, even in places like Naples. There's still so much land. Stuff is never going to go up. There's a ceiling on it. Oh, they're probably going to build here too. Look at this. Yeah, here's the sign. This is a spec house from the 80s or 90s. Oh no, is it new? That thing's new? Doesn't look new. I and mean, there's another one next to it down there. I don't know why, but I, I like these ones. I actually like these ones. These seem more practical. You know, they're only 9,000 square feet. Cozy.